Learn Lyran, Chapter 1, Reading and Writing, Lesson 3, Long and Nasal Signs. Welcome back to Learn Lyran. Now that you know all 38 letters of the Lyran alphabet, the 29 consonants and the 9 vowels, it's time to learn about the two modifier signs, the long sign and the nasal sign. Since the two modifier signs don't make a sound on their own, they aren't considered as separate letters of the Lyran alphabet, kind of like diacritics being languages put on their letters, like the French A. Nevertheless, they are still very important in correct spelling and pronunciation, as their job is to modify the pronunciation of vowels. Without further ado, let's begin, shall we? But wait! Aleph is a separate letter in Lyran, yet it doesn't make it sound on its own, so why not the modifier signs? The reason why we consider Aleph as a separate letter but not the modifier signs in Lyran is because Aleph is usually considered a consonant and it doesn't modify the sound of the vowel letter that goes above it. The modifier signs, on the other hand, do modify the vowel sound and that is considered their main purpose. Therefore, Aleph is considered a separate letter but not the modifier signs. It's kind of like why we don't treat the apostrophe as a letter in English. Its main purpose is to form contractions and possessives. Long sign, Lambasinha. In Lyran, the long sign, which looks like a lower curve, is used to make vowels long. Remember, you learn about the long vowels last lesson when you learn about the vowels. For example, the long sign can go on top of a to make it a. Long vowels recap. Now that you know how to make vowels long, try pronouncing these by yourself. A, e, e, o, u, e, u, a, a. An interesting thing about the long sign. Remember when I said that it's extremely easy to tell whether a vowel is short or long in Lyran? This is how. In Lyran, vowels with the long sign can never be short, whereas vowels without the long sign can never be long. This means that every single long vowel in Lyran is always going to have that long sign, no matter what. Long vowels practice. Try pronouncing these words with long vowels. Answers will come in five seconds. Here are the answers. Bad. Bacha. Dua. Zbia. Beach. Nasal sign. Nazada singa. The nasal sign, in contrast to the long sign, adds a nasally sound to vowels. This means that you have to emit air out of your nostrils at the same time as when you pronounce the vowel sound. This is why we call it the nasal sign, and it's because you emit air from your nose while pronouncing the sound. Try putting your hand in front of your nose and then pronounce the M and N sounds. What do you notice? There is air coming out of your nose, which means that M and N are nasal sounds. Nasal vowels. Unlike the long sign, which can appear anywhere over any vowel, the nasal sign's use is much more limited. Only A, E, E, O, and A uh can be nasalized in Lyran. Nasal vowels are extremely rare in Lyran, only appearing in certain verb tenses and words borrowed from other languages, especially French. Nasalized E only appears in verb tenses, while nasalized A uh only appears in loan words. Nasalized A, uh, E, and O uh can appear in either. A, uh, E, eh, E, eh, O, uh, A. Uh. Nasal vowels practice. Try pronouncing these words with nasal vowels. Answers will come in five seconds. Here are the answers. Croissant. Saint. Rendezvous. Chane. Jaron. One more thing to note before we close today. In Lyran, it is prohibited to have both a long sign and a nasal sign in the same syllable. It won't look good, and it isn't necessary to do so. Long nasal vowels don't exist. Congratulations! You know both Lyran modifier signs. Next lesson, diphthongs.